Fort Hood, Texas. You're sitting in the most technologically advanced helicopter ever built. The U.S. Army's RAH-66 Comanche Scout light attack helicopter. We're going to go over some of the basics of flying the Comanche. Okay, let's get off the ground. Tap and hold the top arrow of the torque control on the right side of the screen. Well done. Here. Oh. Slide over the screen to look around. Use the V-stick in the lower left corner of your HUD to navigate to the first waypoint. Stop at the waypoint screen marker, but do not cross the dotted line. We're going to do some target practice. Your Comanche's energy is displayed as a yellow bar below the radar. Every bump and hit your Comanche takes causes a decrease in energy. Waypoint. Good job, Sergeant. Now tap the cannon icon and nail the incoming drones. Nice shot, rookie. Tap your secondary weapon icon to fire the Hydra rockets. Your Hydras are unguided, so they can't change direction in flight. However, the Comanche's computers can calculate a lead and increase your accuracy. Your Comanche's attack system automatically locks on when the target is close enough. If you want to change targets, tap the lock icon. The radar displayed in the top left corner will show you nearby enemy units in red and allied units in blue. natural. In our next exercise, you will learn how to call in artillery strikes. Slide over the secondary weapons icon and select artillery. Notice the group of oil tanks at the far end of the field. Get a lock on one of the buildings. Tap the fire icon. Once you fire, you are free to engage other targets. It may take a few seconds between calling for an artillery strike and having the rounds hit the target. So be patient. When you run out of artillery strikes, head in and mop up any remaining targets with your rockets and gun. Standing. Now head over to the next waypoint, and we'll teach you how to reload your weapons. A FARP is a forward arming and refueling point. You can find the closest one by following the H marker on your map. Approach the FARP at low altitude. As you get closer to it, your landing gear will lower automatically. When you're over the FARP, an indicator will appear on the screen. Down. Now, tap and hold the lower arrow of the torque control to touch down. When you touch down, you'll automatically reload your weapons and repair any damage you have taken. You can also choose a different loadout. Reload sequence complete. Reload sequence initiated. Reload sequence complete. Fly to the next waypoint and wait. I'll meet you there. Gear up.
waypoint. We're going into a live fire exercise. We have a number of SAMs set up on the canyon walls to help us practice some nap of the earth flying. Follow me, don't get shot. By staying close to the ground, you can use nearby hills and trees for cover, making it harder for the enemy to spot you. They can't hit when they can't see. Pop above the hills, and every SAM site in the area will get a good shot at you. Having your EFAMs attached also increases your visibility, so when they're empty, they'll be jettisoned automatically. Use the terrain to your advantage. Stay behind hills and hide in valleys. Keep out of the line of fire. If you have no place to hide, keep moving. The Comanche is built with an advanced system that will auto-correct your altitude. If you don't fly too fast, you don't need to change your elevation while passing over a hill. When an enemy missile is locked on, your Comanche will automatically release a flare and try to avoid it. Waypoint. Waypoint. There's a farm. You can land there if you need any repairs. Head to the next waypoint when you're ready. We'll discuss how to use Stinger and Hellfire missiles. Fires are laser-guided missiles designed to drop straight down onto the target. They're used to 
take out hard bunkers and heavy armor. They are cheap, so don't waste them. See the vehicle at the front of your location. Target one, pull the trigger. If you switch targets while the pistol's in the air, you will try to hold the force and hit a new target. Using this technique with multiple hellfires is called ripple fire. Congratulations, Griffin 26. You graduated. Report back to base. We've got some jobs lined up for you in the real world. <laughs>